Okay, I got my uh, my cowl hood that I actually got um, supposed to be for the dually. That was actually before I uh, bought my 2000 uh, 1500. But I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna paint this thing, and um, it's gonna go on the uh, the 2000 the Z71. Um, I am going to do something a little different with the dually. Um, I like the HD hood, but I'm going to, like I said, do something a little different with that. So this uh, cow induction hood is going to go on the 1500. So um, today I am going to start painting it. Um, I got uh, my saw horses out. These are steel saw horses. I think my dad made it made them out of scrap or something. Anyway, they uh, have a pipe on the top, so I went to uh, the uh, home store. I uh, got some uh, insulation so I can set this hood on here without uh, scratching the crap out of it. Probably going to uh, um, paint the underside first and then flip it over and paint the top side. Because I don't really know how I would uh, paint both sides at once. But uh, I'm going to uh, get it out of the box and slide it on these uh, saw horses here. Okay, so here it is. I just had to uh, clean off a bunch of uh, sticky stuff they had. Uh, they had a deal over this cowl hood um, protecting it. There it is. Looks pretty good. I I checked it before the um, shipper left, and uh, it was it was good. Um, still looks good. Uh, the this edge here isn't really the best. You can kind of see it's um, kind of not straight. But I mean, I guess it's the back of the hood. I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, I'm gonna flip it over and uh, paint the, the underside first, and flip it back over and paint the the top side. Uh, from what I understand, uh, this is is primed and uh, ready for paint. So. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spray the, the color and clear on this thing. And uh, hopefully uh, bolt it on. And uh, a smart person would probably uh, test fit this uh, before they painted it. But I'm going to uh, just cross my fingers, I guess, and hope it uh, fits. I ain't got no one here to uh, help me test fit it, so I'm just gonna paint it and hope for the best here. Okay, so here's the underside, and the underside is not that pretty. <laughs> um, they got, looks like it's been glued. This whole hood's glued on, I guess, and uh, they got all these things gushing out here. Um, the bars are beat up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's not that pretty. So um, I am going to scuff this up, clean it up, throw a very quick coat of paint on this, um, and then be done with it. Um, I guess if you if you were doing a show vehicle. You could probably go in here and cut these, cut this glue off probably, and and make it all pretty under here. But there's there's really no sense in me doing that. So I'm just going to, like I said, quick coat of paint, get it so she uh, matches the truck when you open the hood and it looks decent. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and uh, see you in a second.
Okay, I got the hood all scuffed up, cleaned off. Um, got my paint mixed up over here. And I got a neat little stand here for my gun. Right now I just got it clamped on there. Um, but it sure is a lot better. I used to used to hang this thing from a cardboard box or something and uh, it was a pain. I almost spilled, I don't know how much, or, or I, don't, I almost dropped, I don't know how many gunfuls of paint when I was doing that. Um, but I got my paint all mixed up. I mixed up 16 ounces of color here. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm gonna need. That might be too much. Um, I got some new paint for this. Uh, Chroma Base. Um, this used to be DuPont. Um, I see, I think Exalta bought DuPont out. But uh, on my topper I used this Nason stuff. And uh, you can see they, they still got the DuPont on that. Um, I didn't like that at all. I didn't like the color at all. So um, it's a lot cheaper than the, uh, the Chroma Base. But I didn't like it. Um, I did go with the cheaper clear. I, I, I like the clear. Um, so I went cheap on the clear, but I got uh, um, the good color. And actually, I haven't even opened that up. I used up some I had from before. I was going to mix it when I, when I painted my topper, but the guy said probably wouldn't mix the Nason with the Chroma Base. So... Um, I didn't do that. I got, uh, I don't know, enough to do maybe some something that uh, I don't care about. Um, actually, I probably should have done that underside of the hood with this now that I think about it, but because I don't really care about uh, the underside here. I, I just want it black and, and shiny. And, you know, I don't, this, I'm not really worried about what this looks like. I'm just gonna get, get it covered. Uh, with color and clear quickly and then uh, so I can move on to the top side and then do a, do a really good job on that but this bottom here it's not worth even messing with trying to make it look um, really really good so that's what I'm gonna do I gotta take this lazy dog in the house because I can't have him out here while I'm painting I don't want him breathing in all that stuff so he can go and sleep in the house which he won't be happy because I won't be in there. But he's got to do it. So, um, I got to take him in and then I'll start spraying this.
Okay, I got the uh, color on. So now I'm going to mix up the clear, throw that on quick, and then uh, be done with it, I guess. Uh, okay, I just got my clear all mixed up and in the gun. Um, I love this stand. This stand is awesome. I don't know why I didn't get one sooner. Uh, my little uh, paint cabinet is working out awesome. I just love this thing. I've got some paint in here. I know where it's at. I've got some stuff in here. Nothing's getting dirty. Uh, I just got a bunch of mixing cups um, on eBay. I believe uh, $20 or something for $50. Um, which is 50 cents a piece, which ain't bad. <clears throat> you know, when you're in the, the whole scheme of things, 50 cents for um, a thing, you just use it and throw it away. You ain't got to clean cups all the time. That, that's, a, that's a real pain. So, you know, a couple dollars for every paint job for cups or two dollars or something, you know, it ain't bad. I'd rather, rather do that than uh, clean these cups out. So anyway, I've got uh, my clear ready to go. Um, the hood's not going to paint itself, so uh, I'm going to get to it. Well, it's the next day, and uh, there she is, all painted and cleared. Okay job, definitely good enough for uh, underneath the hood here. Plenty good enough for underneath the hood. So I'm uh, gonna flip it over and uh, it it will uh, leave marks. I'm, I'm almost positive uh, it's gonna leave marks wherever it sits on this foam on the underside here. But uh, like I said, the underside really doesn't matter. Um, I can probably, um, wherever it leaves a mark, um, I can probably go in and uh, wet sand and, and buff it um, if, if it's really, really bad. But uh, it's almost been 24 hours, so um, I'm thinking uh, it shouldn't leave too, too bad of a mark. It's gonna be dirty and dusty under this hood anyway. You know, as soon as it's it's on the truck, so um, I'm gonna get to uh, flipping this over, start scuffing the other side. Um, it's nice and rainy out again today, so um, there should be uh, minimal bugs. Um, I didn't get it; didn't look like any bugs got in this uh, this here again, which I don't really understand. But I guess I painted it during the day; that really helps. A lot of the times I paint at night, which is bad, but that's again why I want to get this kind of flipped over and started to paint because uh, it's, it's daylight here and um, less, much less likely to um, get bugs in it if I paint during the day. So Plus I get to paint with the, the door open, so that's better too. So. I'm going to uh, get this flipped over and uh, start prepping. Well, it's the next day and uh, the hood is painted. You see it turned out pretty good. Um, there is a lot of trash in it. But uh, when you don't have a paint booth, pretty hard to uh, not get trash in it. Uh, a lot of that stuff will uh, um, wash out when you wipe it down for the first time. Some of them are bugs that had landed in there after I, I painted it. And then uh, if I'm really picky, um, that can be wet sanded and, and buffed out. So. I'm not too worried about it. Um, probably give this a few days to uh, um, 
secure up before I try to stick it on because we're going to have to grab a hold of it and kind of manhandle it to uh, to get it on the truck so I want the paint to be hard good and hard so I will uh, bring you back uh, when we start installing it Okay, the hood's on. You just saw I got a bunch of help to uh, actually get this thing bolted down. Um, if you remember, I never test fitted this thing. So uh, I uh, was kind of winging it there. Um, it actually fits pretty darn good, um, except for here. You can see how it's too low. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a spacer to actually go underneath the hinge. But otherwise, I mean, it follows the body line. I'm pretty good. I mean, there's a there's a good space um, for the body line. Again, over here, it's down too low. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera or not, but uh, but otherwise, it. Uh, it fits the front end good. I mean, it's it's uh, pretty darn good for what it is. Um, a fairly cheap uh, cowl induction hood, but uh, I'm happy. I just need to uh, make some spacers. I don't want to put 
like washers or anything. I want to have something big enough to uh, cover the whole thing. So I guess there'll be a, a part two to the uh, cowl hood install. I guess I can show you the underside here too. How that's gonna look. You know, it's 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 all right. Like I said before, it's not definitely not a show, a show quality deal. Um, one thing that they they did do is the light works, or the light can go on there. The light don't work. These uh, inertia some lights. Um, most of them don't work on these pickups, but. They were supposed to stamp a hole right here for this to go into and you can see where the stamp didn't poke it all the way through. I didn't know that. I would have I could have drilled it out or something if I would have known that. I might just uh, eliminate that light. They don't ever <clears throat> they don't ever seem to work anyway so uh, just might just eliminate that altogether. But there's the underside. You can see there's a few scuffs here where it was uh, laying on the on the foam while well, I painted the top side but uh, no one's even going to notice that. So uh, that's it for this video guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one.